When I started lifting around 10 years ago, I wish I knew these five things that I'm gonna explain in this video. The first thing I wish I understood and knew when I started was the fact that form is so, so important. Form of lifts is what you need to establish when you are in the gym. When you're first a beginner getting started, watch videos, get a trainer, have people give you the information that you need to properly build a foundation. If you go in willy nilly and you're, you know, trying to rep out, you're, you're not really focused on form, you are not going to build muscle in the way in the time frame that you could if you've just focused on your form. So really what, how you build muscle is time under tension. Okay, the more traction you have, that more pain that you're feeling, the more you're actually building muscle. Because in order to build muscle, you must break it down and then get the nutrients it needs and recover to build it back. So ultimately focusing on that form, being slow and controlled on the decline, on the decentric load, right? And then blowing up, right? Whether it's bench press, whether it's squat, whatever lift you're doing, the hardest part, you need to stay in that time. The second thing I wish I knew is that strength is more important than the reps. Okay, that means the strength, the amount of weight that you are going to move needs to increase. Reps are important, don't get me wrong. But as a man, the more weight you move, the more load you have to get from point A to point B adds to the more testosterone that is released into your body. In order to build muscle, you have to break down muscle. Once you break it down, your body sends this response. It says, hey, this has been worn out way more than it needs to be. And so it starts to send nutrients to those muscles to build it back. The more out of homeostasis, the more you break your body down, the more nutrients your brain sends to those muscles. So if you tear your body up, not, not in an injury way, but in a way in which it's productive, right? Soreness, the more sore you feel, the more muscle you're actually building. That's why I love being sore in the gym. And whenever I was first starting, I hated it. And so ensuring that you are feeling that soreness, but then you're taking the proper precautions to mitigate that, whether it's stretching, whether that's icing, whether that's sleeping, whatever it may be, strength and moving a certain load is far more important than getting a certain amount of reps done. The third thing I wish I knew is that cardio is far more important than I first realized. You know, when you first get into the gym, you think, well, I don't need to do cardio. Like, I'm not trying to look like a runner. I want to put on muscle. Cardio kills the gains, dude. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. The reality is that your heart is the most important muscle in your body because it distributes oxygen to all of the rest of your muscles, right? It pumps blood. Blood carries oxygen. Oxygen fuels the muscles in your body. If your heart does not pump the oxygen, pump the blood efficiently and effectively, your muscles will not get the right oxygen and you will actually fail faster. So when you train to failure, instead of doing 225, eight reps, your blood's not pumping, your heart's not pumping the blood it needs to, so you're really just gonna do six reps. So in a sense, training your heart is just as important as training whatever muscle group you want to grow. Personally, I recommend 20 minutes of steady state cardio a day. That's enough to get enough work on that heart to ensure that it's going to be growing. But once again, you still need to implement progressive overload in that. Your heart will uh, start, you know, getting used to it, start getting in that homeostasis. So you do need to continue to grow your heart as well. The fourth thing I wish I knew is that nutrition is far, far, far more important than I first realized. Yes, you probably hear that a lot online, right? You probably hear a lot of people saying abs are made in the kitchen, right? All of these sort of things, and they're thrown out and like diet over training, right? All of this stuff is thrown out, but hear me out. When you are actually putting on muscle, and that's your goal, right? To increase muscle mass, decrease fat. Your body breaks down the muscles when you're working out. Those muscles then need nutrients in order to build back up. If it does not have those nutrients, then it will not build back up. It will instead just be continuously broken down. You need nutrients. Those nutrients come from food. And it's not just protein. It's not just, oh, go get your protein, you'll be good. No, there are micronutrients, macronutrients. There are a various different types of nutrients that your body needs in order to fully be optimized to build muscle the right way. One nutrient that a lot of people overlook is vitamin D simply getting some sunlight. I didn't realize that that nutrient was even needed at all. I would sit inside and play video games all the time, go work out, like I, I hardly ever got sun. And that's a nutrient that is needed in order to build muscle. And so simply having a deficiency in nutrients is going to take away those gains that you could be making. 
The fifth thing I wish I knew whenever I was lifting, the fact that sleep and recovery is so important. Okay, this could be more important than nutrients, but it is kind of tied together with it, just for the fact that sleep allows your body to recover and get the proper amount of building time that it needs to put on that muscle. Just like we talked about with nutrients, right? Nutrients allow your body to build back the muscle. Sleep allows your body that recovery time to get the proper nutrients that your body builds to build the muscle. Okay, so for instance, testosterone. Once again, we're touching on that because it is so important. And testosterone requires sleep. HGH is created when your body is in the deep sleep cycle, right? In the REM sleep cycle, that third stage that your body gets into when it has vivid dreams, right? That is the highest point when your body is actually building that HGH. HGH is human growth hormone that helps build your muscle, helps increase testosterone, and allows for that process to happen. So getting an adequate amount of sleep around like seven to nine hours, eight is probably what you're gonna be shooting for. That's going to ensure that your body gets the proper time to recover, build back. That way you have those muscles continuing to grow and continuing to prosper. With that being said, I'll tie in kind of a little last tip is the fact that patience is key. It's gonna take time. If you're doing this naturally as you should be, it's going to take a lot of time, right? Your body has genetic capabilities that it can max out. But that doesn't mean that you cannot continue to push past those, okay? You don't set limits on yourself, but also be realistic in a time frame, right? If you're going to continue to go to the gym consistently daily, right, you're not going to hit 300 pounds of pure muscle mass. Be realistic with your time frame and understand that yes, it will take time, but each time you're going to the gym, you're getting better, you are progressing, you are moving, and please do not lose frame of mind, do not lose sight of the fact that you are getting better. And I promise, if you stay with it, you will get to your goal. And so if you found this video helpful, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I think like 98.8% .8 of you guys aren't subscribed and I'm going to continue bringing out these videos. Uh, but if you want a video that is similar to this, but is ensuring that you're going to increase that testosterone like we talked about in this video, then go ahead and click this one right here.